Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is on bruxism and its effective homeopathic medicine. Friends, what is bruxism? Bruxism is grinding of the teeth or clenching of the jaw. Friends, it's a common habit, especially seen in children. It can also be seen in adult as well as in older people. In older people, you will find less in number. Now friends, this bruxism is a common habit as I said, but if it happens, uh, if this continues once in a while then there is a no problem at all but if it happens on a regular basis then there is a problem because if you continuously have this habit of grinding your teeth or clenching your jaw then you might suffer from other symptoms like headache you you can have ear pain you can have pain in the jaw muscles and jaw joint you can have difficulty or stiffness in opening and closing the mouth you will also hear a clicking sound when you open the mouth also the other associated symptoms are you might have teeth sensitivity your teeth will get loose you might have tooth fracture sensitivity of the teeth finally the whole teeth can be gone there will be wearing of the teeth and the entire teeth will be gone so these are the associated symptoms that can happen with bruxism if it if it happens on a regular basis friends there are two phases of bruxism in children the first phase is when the primary teeth erupts about six months to seven months the primary teeth erupts at that time they might have this particular habit the second phase is when the permanent teeth sets in when the permanent teeth sets in in that at that particular phase they will they might give the, they might get this particular habit after these two phases usually bruxism goes away but People can still suffer from bruxism because of other certain causes, example, like worm inf because of worm infestation, because of nutritional deficiencies, because of uh, neurological problems, because of endocrine problems, because of psychological causes. These are some of the uh, co causes that, might, that a person can still continue bruxism. So now, the exact cause for bruxism is not understood properly. But there are some factors that are responsible. It can be jointly responsible like psych, uh, psychological causes, genetic causes and physical causes. So in uh, physical causes, in that case what happens is the alignment of the teeth is not proper. So because of that the person can have this habit. The next is psychological causes. In the case of psychological causes, the person like example in the case of stress anxiety, tension, frustration, uh, irritation, restlessness, the person can have this particular habit because of anxiety, anger, frustration, tension, etc. Now, the third one is genetic causes. Like in a study done, it has been found that about 50% of uh, people who have this habit of bruxism in that case it has been found that their family members also have this habit right so it runs in family that is genetic so these are some of the causes or you can just take it as jointly jointly causes now uh, let's see some of the risk factor that can cause bruxism so the risk factors are because of taking too much of caffeine loaded food like too much of coffee example then because of taking antidepressant medicines, the side effect of antidepressant medicine can cause bruxism. Then taking excessive alcohol, excessive smoking, excessive tobacco chewing. Also other neurological causes like uh, traumatic brain injury, uh, ADHD, epilepsy, encephalitis, etc. These are some of the risk factors that can cause bruxism. Now, there are two types of bruxism. The first is awake bruxism. The second is sleep bruxism. So awake bruxism in this, the grinding of the teeth or the clenching of the jaw is seen when the person is awake, right? Not when the person is sleeping, but when the person is awake in the daytime, especially they have this particular habit, especially females suffer more from awake bruxism. And in the case of awake bruxism, you will find uh, the symptoms are worse during the course of the day and it is uh, better when you wake up so when you wake up the symptoms of 
a bruxism is not seen much but during the course of the day you will find the symptoms worsening the causes are the causes of awake bruxism are anxiety tension deep thinking uh, frustration stress etc <clears throat> The second is sleep bruxism or nocturnal bruxism. In this, the person have this grinding or clenching of the jaw or bruxism when they sleep. Uh, right, both men and male and female suffer in equal proportion. Also, in the case of sleep bruxism or nocturnal bruxism, you will find a symptom worsening of the symptom when you wake up in the morning, and it is better and the symptoms are better when uh, during the course of the day. Right, the causes are again this almost same stress, anxiety, etc. Right, also, uh, one thing I forgot to mention that is in the case of awake bruxism, clenching of the teeth is more prominent than grinding of the teeth. Friends, now let's come to the homeopathic part. So, I'll be telling seven most effective homeopathic medicine that will bring cure to bruxism. So, the first important medicine is Sina in 30 potency. The indication of this medicine are bruxism in children, especially at night because of worm infestation. The child is very irritable when you go near the child or when you carry the child, they doesn't like it at all. They will bite you or strike you. They doesn't want to be carried at all. So if you find this symptom in a child and you can think of giving Sina 30 potency. Now the method of giving this medicine is you have to give this medicine three times a day. That is put one drop of the medicine in the mouth in the morning the same thing put one drop in the afternoon put one drop of the medicine in the mouth in the evening time three times a day morning afternoon evening on empty stomach without water right this is a way to take the medicine you have to take this medicine without water on empty stomach just put one drop of the medicine in the mouth that's all three times a day take this medicine for about 10 days and you'll see good result the next important medicine is centoninum in 30 potency centoninum in 30 potency the indications are again bruxism in children especially because of worm infestation bruxism at night the child can have a itchy nose they can also complain of abdominal colic so if you find these symptoms then you can think of giving centoninum in 30 potency the method of giving the medicine is same as sina 30. the third important medicine is chamomilla in 30 potency indications for this medicine are bruxism in children uh, the child is very angry they have violent anger they are very very obstinate obstinate stubborn they have this habit of grinding the, the teeth or clenching the jaw during dentition so if you find these symptoms in a child then you can think of giving chamomilla chamomilla child is very uh, is an angry child so you can give chamomilla 30 the method of taking the medicine is same as the other two medicines next is belladonna in 30 potency now the indications are bruxism in children with bruxism they will also complain of headache throbbing kind of headache the child is restless and delirious so if you find these symptoms in a child then you can think of giving belladonna 30 method of giving the medicine is same as the other medicine previous other medicines next medicine is plantago plantago in 30 potency indications are bruxism in children especially at night along with this you will also find ear pain you will also find uh, sensitive teeth tooth ache so if you find this associated symptom then you can think of giving plantago method of giving the medicine is same plantago 30 uh, again the as I said the method of giving the medicine is same as the other previous medicine next important medicine is cannabis indica in 30 potency indications are in this you will find bruxism especially at night you will also find the person to be very loquacious that is talkative person the child uh, or the person is forgetful they cannot complete a sentence uh, when you look at a face, the face is very drowsy and stupid looking face and for them the time passes too slow. They feel that the time passes too slow. So if you find these symptoms then you can think of giving cannabis 30. The method of giving the medicine is same as the other previous medicines. 
Now coming to the last medicine that is arsenicum album in 200 potency. It's a dip acting medicine. So you cannot repeat this medicine frequently. It can only be repeated monthly. That is once in a month. So the indications are you will find bruxism. You will also find the person is intensely anxious and intensely restless. They are very, very fastidious. They want everything to be done in order. Nothing should be misplaced. Everything should be kept in order. Uh, they have fear of that. They have fear to be alone. They have fear of disease. So if you find this symptom, then you can think of giving arsenicum album in 200 potency. The method of giving the medicine is you have to put one or two drops of the medicine in the mouth. That's all on empty stomach without water. Early morning on empty stomach without uh, without water. That's all. And again, you can repeat this medicine after a month in the same way. So friends, these are the seven effective medicines uh, in the case of bruxism. I have found a uh, very good result with these medicines so friends these are the specific medicine but friends we also have constitutional medicine where we see the person physical mental and uh, the characteristic symptom of the person and prescribe the medicine for this a prolonged case taking is very very important so friends if you do not find good result with this then you can go to a homeopathic physician and uh, you can uh, and in that they will help you to get you a constitutional medicine which will definitely bring cure to your case so friends that's all for today if you want me to discuss on any other topic do let me know if you have any queries do let me know take care stay safe stay healthy take care bye